What's up guys? Welcome back to Luke Scoldies. In this video, I'm going to take you through a day in the life of a full-time content creator slash goldfish breeder and basically take you through what I do every day from morning till night. So today I woke up at 7.30 and it took me a little over half an hour to get ready. Now I'm going to go inside and make a cup of coffee. Of course today we got to use a Luke's Goldies mug, very fitting for the video. I have those linked in my description if you want to go check those out. Oh, I almost forgot the secret ingredient. I almost forgot the secret ingredient. If you guys don't know what this stuff is, it's like the super soldier serum, but it's legal and it's actually good for you. You just have to make sure you drink a lot of water. You want to make sure you mix that creatine in. In terms of cream and sugar, I don't add any cream and sugar to my coffee. I usually have it black or with a little bit of the super soldier serum. That's delicious. I got to go find like a little clip thingy that comes with this microphone. Okay, I found the clip. Now, you want to see something pretty cool? There we go. First things first on the agenda, let's feed our inside goldfish. Mmm. Look at this. Oh, I didn't mean to scare you. There we go. The good stuff. Onward, Christian soul. Frankie. Frankie, you always get the food on your forehead. Look at that. It's a famous Clarence. Get out of the way, Chicken Steve. You're blocking him. Look at him sift through the sand. You like those pellets, Clarence? Okay, they are all fed, so now we're gonna go deal with the outside guys. This is what takes up like a large amount of my mornings, is I have to do a water change on all my outside tanks every single day. Uh, because they're so overstocked, I have to make up for that overstocking by over water changing and doing like so many more water changes than a normal person would do in a normally stocked tank. And because I'm trying to grow my goldfish out a little faster, that means I have to feed them a lot more. And when you feed your goldfish a lot more, you gotta change the water out a lot more because they produce a lot more ammonia and nitrates than a normal goldfish tank system would. Okay, first up on the water change schedule are the Calico Ranchu Babies. I first gotta hook up the pump, then I just gotta put in this tube. This is one of the drainage tubes. And then I gotta plug it in, and now the tank is draining. Now, because I'm a chemical engineer, we're taught to be as efficient as possible at all times. So while I'm draining this tank, I am also gonna be draining that tank with the Red White Ranchu Babies, and I have another drainage tube. So I'm gonna start draining this one at the exact same time. What's up, little guys? How we doing? Man, their colors are starting to develop a little more. They're getting so much bigger. I can't believe they're only a little over a month old. Let's get the two two baby fry tanks changing. And here, we got the little tiny babies, look at them. So because these fry are so, so small, I have to get these pumps and I have to put them in this little mesh bag here. And now, let's plug these in. Oh no, the sky is falling. Guys, it's Captain Cow, it's Captain Cow. It's Kirby right there, Kirby the pink goldfish. Wait, is that one Kirby? Wait a minute. Okay, that is low enough. And now we start pouring it out. Don't forget water conditioner. Clean, Mr. Clean. Look at Giga Chad. Giga Chad is looking absolutely beautiful. Let's empty out their tank now. Okay, we got them being emptied. We have them being filled up. We have them being emptied. And we have these guys also being emptied. Sometimes when I'm waiting a couple minutes for one of those tanks to fill up and then for another one of those tanks to empty, I like to just come out here and just sit down and relax. Sometimes I'll just listen to some music. Sometimes I'll pull out my Bible and I'll start reading my Bible. I like to kind of try to make this water change time my little morning peaceful time. Uh, even though I am draining and filling up multiple tanks at the same time and I have to keep it a lot of my mind, I still try to have it kind of be that little peaceful time in the morning. Okay, so this one is done draining. Guys, look at all those baby ranchos. Okay, so this tank right here has clean water. This tank has clean water. That tank has clean water. That one has clean water. That one has clean water. And now we are filling up our last baby tank with clean water. After that, 
will be completely done with our water changes for today. Okay, so while we wait for that tank to fill up, we're gonna do our first of many feedings for everyone out there. I pour food in there. When they finish it, I pour more food in there. I feed them so often. Okay, we're gonna get some frozen brine shrimp. Those are all freshly hatched frozen brine shrimp. Luke, that's a fire hazard. I know, I know. This is money. This is gold. Look at that pure gold. Two, three. Okay, five of these guys for you. Oh no, we're wasting brine shrimp. They're melting on the ground. No! No, you know how hard I worked for these brine shrimp. Come back. And we give five for you guys. It sounds like someone's peeing in my pond. It's rain and shrimp, hallelujah. Okay, let's go back to starting electrical fires. Five cubes of blood worms to the Calico Rancher babies. And they all just start coming. They're like a bunch of piranhas, these guys. Gotcha, I gotcha. I love just messing with them when they're trying to eat because they're so focused on the food. A giant human hand just scooping you up like a crane. I don't care, I want blood worm. Look at this dude. I'm gonna name him Simba. Wait, after looking at his butt a little closer, that looks like a female. That's a female butt. That's how you know it's a female when the butt sticks out like that, like a dot. And now for the red white babies, I like to chop these guys in half now. I used to shave them, but now the babies are big enough that I can just chop this in half and that's good enough for them to eat. I can't believe how fast these guys have grown. Okay, now for the sapphire babies. Look at these guys go. You're a chunky little ranchu. Last but not least, we got the big adult parent ranchu. Guys, look at all the goldfish now that are crowding the brine shrimp. That little thing of brine shrimp will be gone like literally within an hour. Okay, so I'm actually kind of proud of myself. It's only 10.05 a.m. and I have done all of the necessary daily water changes and all of the goldfish have had their first meal. I might do a second water change in some of these tanks later tonight. Um, but we'll see based on how big the food load I end up giving them today is. So you're probably thinking, look, if it's only 10.05 a.m. and you've already finished most of your daily maintenance on all your goldfish tanks, what do you do now? Well, I just drank a cup of coffee, so I think it's pretty self-explanatory what needs to happen. Okay, it's 10.30 now. We're done in there. Uh, so now what? I finished all my goldfish maintenance. I used the bathroom. Can I just walk and crawl back into bed is my day done you know three hours of work uh now i can just take a nap and be done for the day no wrong i gotta create the content i'm a content creator and goldfish breeder there's a whole sphere of work that a lot of people don't realize is actually making and uploading and doing all the content that is a lot of work so let me kind of show you guys how i do that okay you'll probably notice that my video quality just went down the tubes that's okay, I'm actually recording with the front camera on my iPad uh, because I do my content creation on my phone here. This is the only way I'm gonna record myself actually making the content. So sometimes people ask me, how do I find inspiration for my content creation? How do I make a video or two videos every single day? Well, one really easy way to find inspiration is to read my comment section. I read my comment section all the time. And when I see a comment that I'm like, you know what, that would make a perfect thing to make a video response to, I screenshot it, I put it in my photos, uh, I make a video about it. Urgent help needed, my fish is pooping out white strings, I'm not sure what's happening. Okay, I make most of my videos on VN Video Editor, and it's very simple and you can do a lot with it. We're talking about stringy white poop for this video. So I got these these videos of my goldfish that had stringy white poop, and then I just go like this, and now we have everything in our workspace here. So I like to record the audio first and then sync the video files to the audio. So for this one, I'm talking about stringy white poop. I was thinking, I wanna kinda of make it like a little rhyme video. People like when I do those rhyme videos. So I was thinking like, my goldfish's poop is stringy and white. Oh no, that might mean he has a parasite. But don't fright, cause that's not the, th only thing that it might like I'm trying to do something like that okay uh, it's kind of difficult to come up with these rhymes that like you know aren't dumb sound my goldfish's poop is stringy and white well that could mean he has an internal parasite or maybe he just hasn't eaten in a while if you give him some food right now that might make him smile 
But if he does have some internal worms, don't be frightened and start to squirm. Uh, no, that wasn't, that wasn't that good. But if it is an internal worm, there are things you can do to help make that goldfish have normal poo-poo. <laughs> Prezi Quanto and Levamiso might do the trick, but don't go off and do this quite yet. I don't know. Prezi Quanto and <clears throat> Prezi Quanto, you don't want to do any of this yet. You don't want to hear what I say and just, you know, you shouldn't be doing any of this yet. Because as always, I'm not a vet. That was a perfect rhyme. Call me Eminem, because I'm gonna become the next big rapper. Goldfish Central. Okay, now I'm gonna edit those clips together to make it sound like one fluid sentence. Also, it's already 11.30 and all I've gotten done is the audio clip and I have to stitch the visuals to it now. Um, but I had some time trying to figure out the whole audio situation here because I usually use this microphone, but I'm using this on my iPad, so I had to use this microphone. Um, so I'm a little delayed, but that's okay. I'm gonna get these visuals synced up pretty quickly, and I should be uploading this video pretty soon. Okay, it is now 12 o'clock. It took me half an hour to get the visuals and stuff done. But the video is already, watch this. My goldfish's poop is stringy and white. Oh no, he might have an internal parasite. Or maybe he just hasn't eaten in a while. If you give him some food right now, I'm sure that'll make him smile. But if he does have internal worms, there are things you can do to help your goldfish start having some normal poo-poo. Prezi Quanto and Leva Misol might do the trick, but make sure to do your research. Don't be quick. You don't want to rush off and do any of this yet, because sometimes I'm wrong, and as always, I'm not a vet. Only took almost two hours, but we got our 30 second video made. That's just, that's how it is. You make an extremely short video, it takes you a very long time. Now I am going to upload this to Facebook Reels, Instagram Reels, TikTok, and to YouTube Short. I get to upload basically four videos for the work of making one, because I have four different platforms that I can post these short videos to. Okay, so now it's almost 12.30, and I just finished uploading my video to all four of my platforms. And now I'm going to go back outside and feed all my goldfish again because, as I said, they definitely finished that food by now. And if you want to grow baby goldfish quickly, you got to feed them every moment possible. What did I say? Look at that. All the orange is gone. Okay, we're going to give five more cubes to them. And we're going to give five more cubes to these guys. Okay, some pellets for you guys. Look at them go. Some pellets for these guys. Some pellets for these guys. And we have some for the mini chonkers. All right, so again, we have the orange on the ground there. That should last until my lunch break is done. Okay, it's about 12.30. The second feeding is now done. I'm getting a little bit hungry. I did not eat breakfast today. I normally do not eat breakfast. I just don't have the time for it and I don't really need it. Uh, I just go straight to lunch. Um, so I'm gonna call up my friend Yanni and see if Yanni is down to get some lunch. You guys know what time it is? It's time to pick up the Yanni. Okay guys, we're at Yanni's house. Guys, look, it's a wild Yanni. Hello. Guys, it's Yanni from Yanni's Nerdverse. Can I have your signature? <laughs> yeah, it's my, it's my Bluetooth mic. That's so it connects here. All right, we're gonna get food. Yanni, where are we eating? I don't know, dude, where are we eating? I, I, I don't know. Chipotle or Chick-fil-A, we'll decide on the way. Okay, we actually decided Jersey Mike's. We were not in the mood for Chick-fil-A or Chipotle, so here we are. Sammy's in hand, we'll go to Yanni's house, we'll eat it, and then we digest, and then we go to the gym. We're in Yanni's basement, maybe we'll play pool, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, let's get to eating. Okay, so this thing's looking a little wet. Mmm, tastes good. Just wish it wasn't so wet. It's very... It's a little soggy. I right, let's hope it's good. It looks delicious. Yanni's isn't soggy. Mine is soggy. Mm -hmm. It's like, they still taste good. All right, Yanni, it's been good. Get out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> We're leaving Yanni's house now. We're gonna go digest. After we're done digesting, we go gym. Okay, so it is about 1.20 right now. Uh, I just finished lunch. I think I'm gonna go pick up a coffee from Dunkin' Donuts on my way back home, because I am I usually need two coffees to get me through the day. Also, if you guys didn't know, my friend Yanni also has a YouTube channel. His YouTube channel's name is Yanni's Nerdverse. Um, definitely go give it a look. If you're big into Marvel, DC, Star Wars, uh, any kind of media, any kind of comics, 
that's him. All right, he's your guy. Go check him out, Yanni's Nerdverse. I'll probably link him down in the description or something. Hello, could I please have a medium-sized cold brew, black with less ice? Good stuff. Okay, I'm back home now, and as you guys know, literally after every time we do something here, we gotta go feed a baby goldfish again. That's like, I wake up, I do my water change, I feed my baby goldfish. I make a video, I feed the baby goldfish. I get lunch, I feed the baby goldfish. Okay, we just dropped some in there, and we just dropped some more in here. Same with you guys, you guys are gonna get some more food as well. Okay, all of the babies have now had their third feeding for the day. Okay, so I was just going through some of my comments on my recent post, and one person said, um, we can all hate that parasite, but you gotta admit, it busts out some good dance moves. And just from reading that comment, I'm like, you know what, that'd be funny if I made a little music voiceover of that parasite spazzing out and put some funny music behind it. I'm thinking like I might do staying alive. Like 50%, at least 50% of my inspirations about what videos to make come from just reading what my fans say in my comments. Okay, so I just posted a second video and it's this super... It was very simple, it's just a parasite dancing with music over it. So that one literally took me like 10 minutes to make, not even. Uh, so I posted that to Instagram, now I gotta go post that to my other platforms. Okay, it is 2.45 and I have just finished uploading my second video of the day to all four of my platforms. So I've done a total of eight uploads today, but I've only made two videos. Um, and after we do something, you know what we do? We feed the baby goldfish, again, because that's just what we have to do. Look at them all, patiently waiting for me to dump more brine shrimp in there like they didn't just eat a bunch of brine shrimp. Eat up, little guys. Eat up your pellets. We gotta get you guys nice and chonky. Isn't that right, Captain Cow? Look, guys, look, it's Captain Cow. Guys, this baby is beginning to get like a white coloration. He's the first one to have different colors kind of start popping out. He might be a white-bodied rancho. Okay, it is almost three o'clock now, so far today. I got all my water changes done. I've got a total of four feedings in for the babies. I got my lunch. I've made two videos, uploaded them to all my platforms, and I'm having my second coffee. So now, you know what? I'm just gonna sit back, uh, maybe read some of my comments, respond to some of my comments, and relax a little bit for the next half hour or so, and then I'll probably head to the gym. All right, guys, it is 3.30 now. I uh, relaxed a little bit. I went to all four of my platforms and read the comments on my two videos, responded to some. Uh, now, I'm going to fill up my water bottle and I'm going to head to the gym. We're hitting arms and shoulders today and we're doing it again with Yanni. Guys, again, it's Yanni from Yanni's Nerdverse. Time to get huge. Any flex? Nah. <laughs> First up, we're doing shoulder raises. We're just doing warm-up weight right now. We're gonna be doing a lot more weight than this pretty soon. Okay, this is Yanni's first working set. Yanni's literally Spider-Man. <laughs> Yanni thought he couldn't do the 80 pounds. Now he's repping it like it's nothing. Ugh. This one doesn't hurt at first. Then it, then it really starts to hurt. I am going to crush my skull. Look at him go. We're now gonna do hammer curls. Oh, I feel like you tire so quickly with these. Yanni got that symbiote flowing through his veins. I said. Alright guys, we finished our workout. Time to go home. First we gotta drop off Yanni. Yanni just got out of the car. Yanni can walk. Everybody say bye to Yanni. This is the last time he'll appear in the whole vlog. Okay, I'm home now. It's about six o'clock. As you guys know, after anything I do, I gotta go feed the fish. Hello Ma. Hello Ma. 
Mama's making dinner. Five for these guys. And we got five for these guys. And I have a lot on my hand, so I'll, I'll wipe a little bit off there. And I'll wipe a little bit off there. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do feeding number five for these guys as well. And at this rate, I'll probably have to do a second water change. Um, I just try to do as many feedings and as many water changes as possible because the more feedings, the more water changes you do, the faster you get them to a size that I can sell them. And at this point, it's really hard to maintain as many fish as I have right now. So I'm, especially the bigger babies, I'm trying to go them to a sellable size as soon as I possibly can. But before I do any of that, I do need to take all the trashes out of the house. Uh, today is trash day and you know, I'm 21, I still live at home. And you know, as long as you live at home, you still gotta do chores. That's the rule of my parents and it's fair, it's fair. As long as I live here, I still gotta do chores. So today's trash day, I'm taking out all the trashes in the house. Trash number one, acquired. Trash number two, acquired. Trash three, acquired. Trash four, acquired. Trash number five, acquired. Trash number six, acquired. Okay, we got a couple more trashes. Now we're gonna take them out. Okay, so for dinner, I got a bunch of these beef patties with other stuff in there. It's not just straight beef. There's like other greens and seasonings in there. Uh, and then a bunch of strawberries. So we got plenty of protein and fat right here. And then a good healthy form of carb. Okay, it is now 7.20 p.m. I know it feels like, what has he been doing since 3 o'clock? Well, I went to the gym. I just finished my dinner. Those burgers and strawberries were actually amazing. And now you're like, oh wait, you finished something, you gotta do a feeding. I do have to do a feeding but I'm actually gonna be doing water changes on all the baby tanks. Okay, it is now 8.30 p.m. I have finished my second round of water changes. I think I've fed these guys like six or seven times. Uh, I'm gonna feed them again. Okay, so now I got 16 of these brine shrimp cubes in my hand. I'm gonna give eight of these cubes per tub of baby. Push all these to the side. All right, so those eight cubes in each of those tanks, that should be enough for the rest of the night. So I think I'm officially done feeding these guys. I might, I might split up half an algae wafer and just put it in before I go to bed so they have something to snack on uh, overnight. Now we're gonna give some blood worms to these guys. And this big blood worm feeding, this is like five cubes. Like this will rest on the ground for a while. This is their final meal of the day. All right guys, save some for Captain Cow. Look at them go. Final feeding for these guys. And our last feeding for the adults. I do not feed the adults nearly as often as I feed the babies. The adults only need like two to three meals a day. I was given these algae wafers by Jamie from Aquarium Info. Their business is called Wet Pets. So definitely go check them out. Uh, these algae wafers are a great snack for your goldfish. I like to put one in the bottom of the tank of the babies as a snack overnight. Let us break bread together on our knees. Let us break bread together. <clears throat> I'm not a singer. And that is it. My work out here in the greenhouse is done. So my work as a goldfish breeder, goldfish raiser for the day um, is complete. And I believe it's about 9 p.m. now. Um, and yeah, usually for this job, you wanna just keep feeding throughout the entire day, even into the night a little bit. If you have a big feeding day, you wanna have a big water change day. Some days I feed a lot and I do more water changes. Other days I feed a little less, only do one water change, and I'll focus more on creating more content. I'm one person, I don't have much time, so I try to delegate as much as I possibly can uh, to getting the work done. Okay, my job as a goldfish breeder might be done, but I almost forgot my job as a goldfish keeper too. We gotta feed our guys in here. Look at Mr. Cow. Brutus. <laughs> Look at Clarence. The guy has no idea where the food is. Guys, the pellets are, are over here, Clarence. Wrong direction, wrong direction. All my work goldfish-wise is done. All my work content-wise, I could do a little more. I could prepare tomorrow's video, but I've been filming so much today. I've been filming literally every aspect of today. I think I'm done content-wise, even though I'm, I'm filming right now. I'm making content right now. I think I'm gonna go prepare another plate of food. The awesome thing about skipping breakfast is that you can have two dinners. 
So I usually have two dinners. I'm gonna go make my second dinner. Okay, now we have second dinner. Ma, what do you think of my second dinner? It's beautiful. It's beautiful? Mom said I'm eating her out of house and home. I'm yeah. eating too much of her food. <laughs> but we're doing four more burger patties and we're doing mangoes. Okay, it's about 9.15 now. I ate my second dinner pretty quickly. It was delicious. And I think that about wraps it up for a day in the life of a content creator, goldfish breeder, whatever you want to call me. Sometimes if I have a little more energy, I'll go and I'll make another video right now. Um, but as I said before, I'm just, I'm sick of filming. I'm sick of filming myself. I've never recorded so much in one day. I am gonna take the rest of my day, which is like two hours. I'm gonna take the rest of my two hours of my day and I'm just gonna relax. That is a normal day in my life and it ends around 9-ish p.m. That's when the work ends. Even though I definitely take some breaks in the middle, I go to the gym, I eat my food, I do whatever. There's a lot of work that goes into this. Uh, normally I keep on working until I, until I go to bed, uh, but today I am, I'm just done. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you wanna see more vlogs, not this invasive, this is probably the only time I'll ever do a day in the life. Maybe I'll do another one, I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below Thank you all so much for watching. Luke Scoldies, out.